Welcome Brainers. You've probably landed here because you've connected a brand new SSD or USB storage drive to your PC, all excited to get started, but then, it doesn't show up in File Explorer, or it behaves as if it's not connected at all. Frustrating, right? Don't worry, in this video we'll walk you through some simple solutions to get your device working. Let's dive right in. Solution 1. Initialize the disk. Please right-click on Start, and select Disk Management. Most probably, you'll see this Initialize Disk prompt automatically. If you don't, look for a drive labeled Not Initialized, that's probably your new disk. Just right-click it, and choose Initialize Disk. You'll need to choose either GPT or MBR, I recommend GPT because it works better with modern systems. Once you've selected it, click OK. At this point, the disk will show up as unallocated. Just right-click it, and choose New Simple Volume. Please follow the on-screen instructions. You can optionally change the drive letter, I prefer leaving it default. You can change the volume name if you wish. Please make sure Quick Format option is selected, then click Next, and Finish. Now, let's head back to File Explorer. Fantastic, the new drive is now showing up, and ready to use. If you're planning to migrate your OS to this new drive, I've included a link in the description to a video that walks you through the process step by step. If this solution doesn't solve your issue, let's move on and try the next one. Solution 2. Assign a drive letter. Sometimes, the disk is already initialized but still doesn't show up because it has not been assigned a drive letter. To address this, please open Disk Management. Right-click on the drive or partition, and select Change Drive Letter and Paths. Right over here, click Add. Please make sure assign the following drive letter is selected. You can either leave the default letter or choose another one as you wish. Once ready, click OK. That's it. Your drive should now show up in File Explorer. Solution 3. Unplug and replug. If the drive still isn't recognized, please try unplugging it and plugging it back in, preferably into a different slot or USB port. Sometimes, the port you're using doesn't provide enough power, or it might have other issues. This is especially common if you're using a USB hub. Switching to a different slot or port, or even just unplugging and replugging to the same port, can often solve the problem. And most importantly, restarting your computer can sometimes make all the difference, so give it a try. Solution 4. Check Device Manager. Right-click on Start and select Device Manager. Look carefully for any yellow or red warning marks, especially on devices related to the one you're troubleshooting. If you find any, it usually means the driver is outdated, missing, or incompatible. In that case, you can follow this link in the description for a step-by-step -step guide on updating or installing the correct driver. I hope you found this helpful, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.